I want to bring in Nancy Liu. She's live right now from Portland, Oregon, the scene of this crime. Nancy, I am so um, weirded out, perplexed, grossed out, all of the adjectives about this. But I'm very curious about Illinois and Michigan. These are two states we're not originally tied to this fella, uh, Zuberi. Why these two states? Well, uh, Ashley, I've been in touch with the FBI here in Oregon all day, and they had indicated that this was an ongoing investigation, and there is a lot to investigate. They have since determined that Zuberi lived or spent time in Chicago in January of 2019. He was also in E-Course, Michigan in April of 2017. So that brings it up to 12 states from 10. And the FBI here tells me that it's been really hard to track down where this guy has been over the past 10 years. He seems to have been everywhere and timelines seem to overlap. He traveled a lot. He's also frequented New York, as we just heard, New Jersey, Utah, Alabama, and California. So there is just so much to investigate and many places to investigate as well. And it's also tricky because that whole Judge Judy clip had a different name because he apparently has these aliases. I'll just name three that I have, you know, at the tip of my tongue. Justin Kuwasi, Justin Heish, that was the Judge Judy name, Sakima, mm -hmm. no other name. And they're saying that, it, it, well, right. the authorities are alleging that he may have been drugging women's drinks or impersonating police officers because the woman who escaped said that he was impersonating a police officer and put cuffs on her mm -hmm. and threw her in the back of the car. She said it, it took her a while to see a map uh, app that said, you know, you're still two hours for your destination when she realized this is not a cop. I'm being kidnapped. So do we know anything more about the details of the M.O.? No, we don't at this point, but I mean, he started out in Seattle, drove her all the way to Klamath Falls, which is in southern Oregon, and that's where that cinder block cell is. But this is why the FBI is just pleading to the public to come out with any kind of tips ever since they revealed that they have arrested Zuberi. They have gotten a flood of tips. There are other potential victims out there correlating with the states which have been reported already. They're also hearing from people who've interacted with Zubiri and his other aliases. They're also hearing from a lot of relatives of the missing, uh, hoping to find answers in their cases. So they've got, you know, links to at least four more sex assaults in four different states. Then, of course, these two new states, Illinois and Michigan. You've had a chance to talk to some neighbors where we, we have the known crime, sort of the genesis of all the information comes from this cinder block cell in the garage. What are the neighbors saying? What do they know about the crime, the woman who escaped, her condition, anything else? Well, before he went to Klamath Falls, he was here in the Portland area, just to the north. He was renting a townhome in Vancouver, Washington. That's where we spoke to neighbors who were obviously very glad that he no longer lives in the neighborhood. But that home has since been rented out again. I did speak to the landlord who has described Zuberi as just a terrible person, didn't pay his rent. He changed the locks to the home uh, against policy. Uh, neighbors complained of barking all the time because he was raising pit bulls there to sell. And he was also subleasing spaces in the house, like every single open space in the house he was subleasing. So neighbors said there were all kinds of people coming and going uh, from the home at all hours of the day. They were seeing just people who did not belong in the neighborhood. We spoke with uh, one woman who visits her sister right next door, and she described the garbage and just the weird situation that was next door. But here's what uh, a bit of she, what she had to say. It was definitely just such a weird situation. Like, it wasn't a comfortable yeah, thing. It was just off. We were, I remember talking like even with my sister and as a family, I was like, I want, we should, like, they should move. Yeah. If we want them to move, because right. it's weird. 
So it was sometime after he moved out of that townhome in Vancouver, Washington, that they moved to Klamath Falls, and that's where the cinder block cell was found by authorities uh, just recently, and that's after he had met a sex worker, allegedly kidnapped her on July 15th in Seattle. So a Can lot of places imagine. and people to keep track of. Yeah, yeah, but I just can't imagine what that woman, you know, A, went through, and then B, is going through still, because that is just a, I mean, it's a scene of a horror movie when, when you think of what she went through, apparently all bloodied, so bloodied that she left blood marks on the fence that she jumped over, which was why they yeah. could actually identify the scene. Nancy Liu, thank you for doing the job out there. Really appreciate it. I thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.